guys, it's Summer. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to click on today's video. If you are new, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and joining me. My name is Summer and I am currently on a financial journey to pay off my debt while saving money at the same time. I do budget using a zero-based budget and I budget with the help of the cash envelope system and I am paying off my debt using the avalanche method. In today's video, we are going to be stuffing my cash envelopes for the month of April with my March paycheck. If you are interested in finding out how I come up with the totals for each envelope that I stuff, go ahead and check out my March budget with me video and I'll go ahead and link it above for you. So in today's video, I believe we are going to be stuffing $1,652. Let me make sure. In today's video, we are going to be stuffing $1,652. If you are new, I do like to change out my cash envelopes every month. It just helps to keep budgeting fun for me and I just really love getting a new set of envelopes every month. So this is a look at my envelopes for the month of April. I do have the following envelopes that I keep in my wallet. Here is food, gas, guilt-free, household, miscellaneous, self-care, back to the bank, and credit card. So those are the envelopes that I do keep in my wallet. And these are all the envelopes that we are going to be stuffing this month with the exception of guilt-free. I'm not going to be adding month money to guilt free this month. Okay. I'm not going to count the money since I do have my total count, my cash envelope breakdown that I took to the bank. So we are just going to count to verify that we have the correct bill totals. And if we have the correct bill totals, we know all of the money is there. So we should have 37 one dollar bills let's go ahead and count that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two 33 34 35 36 37 so this is $37 we should have 11 $5 bills. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this is $55. That is there. We should have 5 $10 bills. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is $50. We should have 13 $20 bills. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is $260. We should have seven $50 bills. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is $350. And we should have nine $100 bills. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and this is $900. So all of our money is there. So let's go ahead and stuff my cash envelopes for the month of April. The first envelope we are going to be stuffing is my food envelope, and food is going to be getting $563. It's going to get five $100 bills. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to get one $50 bill, one $10 bill, and three ones. One, two, three. So let's go ahead and verify this is $563. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 560, 561, 562, 563. So this is $563 for food. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my food envelope. I am not going to update my trackers on camera. I will do that at a later time to just save time. 
Gas is going to get $340. It's going to get four $50 bills. One, two, three, four, five $20 bills. One, two, three, four, five. Six $5 bills. One, two, three, four, five, six. And ten $1 bills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's just go ahead and count this to make sure that it has the $340. I did go ahead and increase my gas budget. 50, 100, 150, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, 305, 310, 315, 320, 325, 330, 331, 332, 333, 334, 335, 336, 337, 338, 339, 340 dollars. So everything is there for gas. Guilt-free is not going to get any money at this time. Household is going to get $150. It's going to get one $50 bill, two $20 bills, one $5 bill, and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. So this should be $150. Let's go ahead and count that. 100, 120, 140, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, 150. Miscellaneous is going to get $50. It's going to get one $20 bill two $10 bills, one $5 bill, and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. So this should be $50. Let's go ahead and verify that. 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. That is not correct. It should only have one $5 bill. 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So that's $50 for miscellaneous. Self-care is going to get $300. It's going to get $100 bill, two $50 bills, three $20 bills, one, Two, three, two $10 bills, one, two, two $5 bills, and 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this should be $300. Let's go ahead and check that. 100, 150, 200, 220, 240, 260, 270, 280, 285, 290, 291, 292, 293, 294, 295, 296, 297, 298, 299, 300. So $300 is there. And the leftover amount, we should be left with $249. We should be left with $249. I do pay my son's Kung Fu in cash, so this should be the remaining. Let's make sure. 100, 200, 220, 240, 245, 246, 247, 248, 249. So this is $249 that I need to put in my wallet to pay for my son's Kung Fu. So now that we have all of my envelopes stuffed for the month of April, let's go ahead and get my wallet ready. 
I am going to be using my Kate Spade wallet again. I'm absolutely loving it and I'm really loving um, these new envelopes. I like that I can reuse the clear pouches each month and just switch out the design. And I just really like having my money secure where it does have a zipper. So let's go ahead and take out my previous envelopes. But let's go ahead and check to see if we have any leftover money. So in food, there is nothing left over. Gas has should have nothing left over. I did go over budget in gas. That's why I did increase my gas budget this month. Guilt-free has nothing in it. Household has nothing in it. Oh my gosh, my envelopes are looking so bare. Miscellaneous does have some money in it. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to go ahead and put this money to the side and we can use this money at a later time to stuff my saving challenges. And I'll do another video on that. Self-care should have... Thought it had nothing in it, but there's actually a dollar left in it. Back to the bank, nothing. Credit card, nothing. Looks like I have some money left here. So that's a dollar. So I'll go ahead and put that. So in my cash envelopes, I have, I am left with, let me go ahead and face these the right way. So in my cash envelopes left over from last month, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars left. We are just going to use this eight dollars to stuff my savings challenges. I am going to be starting some new savings challenges. So I will film a video on that. So let's go ahead and put our cash envelopes for the month of April in my wallet. Well, that concludes today's cash envelope stuffing. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and definitely consider hitting that subscribe button to join me on my financial journey. I would love to have you become a part of the family. Well, I hope that you guys have an amazing day and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That really helps out my channel.